She had been dealing with him for years, and she can't take it anymore. It's time to end all of this. Finally, after so much drama and many police visits, she got the upper hand. She got the piece of paper and walked to her neighbor's front door with a big smile. This will turn their lives upside down. Who would have thought that a small piece of paper has such power? Her neighbor didn't know what's going to hit him. Truly, karma has no menu. You get what you deserve. To buy a home in Hawaii, their dream destination, Emily Swanson and her husband had to save money for decades. It was uncomfortable to live on a budget, but with some luck, they could buy a home with five bedrooms, including a large backyard and an oceanic view. Their joy was indescribable. After all, they finally got their dream house. All the hard work they did was well worth it. Everything was going great and going well according to their plan. However, there's one thing they didn't think of neighbors. In this case, a neighbor that lives next door. They were unprepared for what their neighbor would be like. It all started when the couple tried to get rid of an old place at. They got to know Tanya, an older woman who only talks with profanity. They were shocked to know such a person exists. When she found out they were getting rid of the playset, she immediately ran to their front door and told them they didn't have legal rights to throw it away. It was her children's belonging after all. Emily tried to be calm while pointing out the facts to her neighbor. Actually, they found out about the old playset when they were cleaning the farm. When they asked the landlord about it, they gave them a signal to throw it away. Also, Tanya knew it was within their property, so her reaction was a shock to them. The children were allowed to play within their own part of the land, but their land was theirs to decide what to do. Emily can't help but feel a sudden burst of hatred towards her neighbor. The loud banging sound of music made her woke up with a jolt. Tanya might have a different interpretation when she said the kids could play. Apparently for her, it meant that she could throw a huge party for her family on the entire lawn. Emily is not happy. Tanya told them to avoid getting outside the house because the party was for family and friends only. The nerve. And that's not the only thing they did. If this happened to you, you would probably do the same thing Emily did. The living room was the only part of their house that has lesser noise. So Emily and her husband were just in the living room while the party was going on, when a partygoer suddenly walked inside their home. Emily told him that the house he was looking for was on the opposite side of the street. Tanya said she owned the whole property and we can use whichever bathroom is available, the stranger said. Emily was shocked by what she heard. What? She said. Emily was enraged even before hearing it, but her blood boiled when she heard the man. A few minutes after asking the stranger to leave, Tanya surprised her. She walked through a whirlwind of cheap perfume and leopard print to talk to her. You had the audacity to make me look back in front of all my guests, Tanya yelled. Emily was taken aback by what she said. Tanya also said it was rude to refuse her guest to use the bathroom for a few minutes, and she didn't stop there. She even told the couple that they did not deserve such a big house all by themselves, and she wasn't done. Her shamelessness left the couple speechless. They wanted revenge for what she did, but they did nothing at that time. Finally, after some time, the couple added a fire pit and an outdoor kitchen to their patio. It was not cheap, but getting compensated for their skills made the laborers work more efficiently. Even Emily was giving some helping hand. She was moving things around the patio when she heard an odd sound. She can clearly overhear Tanya's voice above the loud construction noise. What is going on? Tanya asked. Emily told her they were doing a few upgrades in their home. Tanya's eyes lit up and her whole face brightened. She obviously thought of a plan of her own. What is she going to do? Time to find out. Emily had no idea that her neighbor planned and organized a party in the yard that they shared at the time. At that time, she was too busy with the construction. She did not notice what was going on on the other side of the street. Tanya was up to no good. Earlier in the day, Emily had been drinking her cortado and watched the workmen construct offense. It had been a peaceful morning until she overheard another adult tantrum from her present location. Can you figure out what she heard? Tanya was angry by Emily's barrier around their shared area. Emily and her husband shared a look. 
This was clearly going to be an issue with this obnoxious neighbor. But not long after that, a new person appeared on the scene. Tanya's boyfriend at the time was Billy. He immediately started tossing his beer cans and cigarette butts over the fence and into Emily's yard. He said he was acting in this manner because they were disrespecting his lady. But as we all know, this was not the case. They were absolutely evil next door neighbors. They continued to have loud arguments at late night parties, which did not improve things. In this scenario, Billy was definitely on the side of his girlfriend. We would have no clue how we'd handle anything like this if we were in Emily's situation. You should also keep in mind that Billy had a 30-inch fishing boat. The problem was that their side of the home only had 15 inches of dockage. Emily paid more for half of the duplex. Therefore, it was only natural that they should have more docking space. They had 150 inches, to be precise. Emily and her husband supplemented their income by renting out the additional rooms. Renters may lock their boats to the property boundary and pay their rent monthly. Tanya and Billy were irritated by this. Emily was surprised to see a fresh review for renting out docking spots on the internet. It was quite awful. According to the gentleman, the couple had been disrespectful to them. Emily and her husband were charged with violating a verbal agreement to use the docking room for another three months. After a brief phone conversation, she was able to find out what was going on. It was finally time to call it quits. She was furious. Tanya and Billy must have pretended to be them after they had left. They asked the customer to remove the boat, and he then placed his own fishing boat in the same spot. Emily couldn't believe it when she saw what she had done. She wanted to involve the police this time. It was getting out of control. Finally, she can't take it any longer. She had no choice but to act. The officers warned Billy and Tanya that if they didn't want their boat towed, they should drive it immediately away. But instead, the couple yelled and said that it was on their property, which as we all know, is a huge falsehood. Furthermore, the two went so far as to label Emily a liar. They then tried a different way. In a frantic effort to get their way, they even claimed that no one could own the water. If it hadn't been for the neighbors, they would have enjoyed delightful mornings, eating fruit salad and staring at the ocean. But unfortunately, with cigarette butts and garbage on the other side of the fence, it seemed doubtful that there would be any peace. Worse, the weekly get-togethers had become much more boisterous. The mischievous children acquired a new habit of curling pyrotechnics at her ships. It was fortunate that Destiny had finally caught up with him. The issue lasted not just months but years. The cops even memorized the address as a result of the awful neighbor. Emily was starting to lose faith that they would ever be able to enjoy a pleasant time again. Tanya and Billy were transforming their tiny slice of joy into misery. She began to wonder whether they should go and forget about all that had occurred since they were beginning to believe that they had no hope of driving the obnoxious neighbor away. When the policemen were called in, they still supported her side. But it didn't matter. When they had to spend their money, it seemed like they were squandering their time and effort. Stress had become an unavoidable part of their daily lives. Emily was on the edge of giving up when her landlord contacted her with a fresh chance. She must have been captivated by it since she refused to go and refused to give up. The elderly gentleman had had enough of the property market and refused to act as a landlord any longer. Dealing with the crazy female who never closes her pie hole was especially vexing for him. The landlord was clearly wary of this specific lady as well. When Emily heard what she was saying, she couldn't believe her ears. He offered her a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to fix all of their issues with the flick of a finger. She couldn't believe how simple it was. He was frantic for a buyer for the other half of the home. His first impulse was to inquire about Emily and her husband's involvement. Emily made a wonderful decision in purchasing the property for a variety of reasons. For one thing, her elderly parents were allowed to live with them. She was happy that the surgery went off without a hitch. She began working on her approach as soon as the paperwork was completed. They weren't total morons. Before the big day, they registered an LLC and double-checked the end of the lease on the opposite side of the duplex. Emily and her husband were also in charge of preparing the notification documents. She joyfully knocked on Tanya's door, 
presented her the note, and demanded the rent. The couple's look must have amused Emily as she handed them the letter. Tanya also had, to her surprise, moved in with her own mother. The elder mom was humiliated by her daughter's conduct. Tanya's mother, in fact, expressed sorrow for what had happened during the preceding several years. She cried to Emily, I didn't raise my daughter to live like this. Tanya's cheeks flushed with embarrassment and indignation as she understood what had occurred. However, when she witnessed what had happened, she was taken aback. Emily had no clue she'd be able to create such an alliance all this time. But thanks to the elderly lady, they found a fantastic technique to preserve the peace in the duplex. Aside from that, she was a fun person to spend out with. Every Wednesday evening, Emily and the older lady would bake and drink. Tanya will be filled with rage the whole time. She'd be unhappy, of course, but there's nothing she can do about it. Emily and her husband were not in any way angry. On the contrary, she didn't mind if they stayed there for the same fee until they could find a new place to live. Her sympathies for the older woman became stronger. No matter how quick or sudden the separation, Emily would find it difficult to say goodbye to her and their relationship. After some time had passed, they ultimately departed the home. Their possessions were loaded onto moving trucks and driven away. Tanya, on the other hand, had no plans to go peacefully. Instead, she delivered another caustic note to the mailbox. It was much more enjoyable since she did it on animal print paper. Emily let out a sigh of relief. She was finally able to unwind. She could finally enjoy her own patch of heaven years after moving here. It had taken a long time to arrive, but the wait had been well worth it. She must have been happy with herself for not giving up and persevering till she reached this point. After what had transpired, there was little question that all those years of tolerating Tanya had not been in vain.